Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. Yo, is Sambo, and joining us as always is Yogurt, our level 17 goblin shaman. Say good day, Yogurt. How's it going? How's it going and how's it going to you guys watching along from home? Welcome to this episode and of course if you joined us in our last goblin themed episode you'll remember that we're here in As Sharif. We have a look at the map. You might remember that we went over to the nearby lake over here and of course that is called Lake Menar. We were recovering some artifacts which we did grab and you can see now we've got to bring them back to Melnia Sky Reaver here at the Orgrimmar Rocketway Exchange in As Shara. and we were also having to do some surveying and we've got to return to Custer Clubnik also here and you can see there right behind us there. Before we go any further though it's time for shout outs that means it's boogie on downtime go on there you go yoga and once again 10 internet points to anybody who can tell me which real world dance that is based on. Let's get right into it first one here is from Father Jimbo and they say hey there Sambo great videos would you mind giving my son a shout out he plays WoW as Irex and we enjoy watching your videos together. He's 12 and thinks you are a noob. Well I can tell you what your 12 year old son is very smart indeed. Big hello to you mate and to Irex your character. Let us know what class he is and what level he is as well and a big shout out to you both. Nice to hear from you and thank you for your support. Got another shout out here from Jake Phillip 75 and they say hey there Sambo can I please have a shout out for my level 35 night elf druid. Nice vids by the way and hope to see more. Well a big hello to you. Thank you very much for your support. Got another one here from Mr. Viewtastic and they say hey there I've been a subscriber on my main channel for about five months now and you have inspired me to set up a gaming channel and to make videos. At the moment I'm filming Smite but hopefully as my channel grows I'll branch out a bit. P.S. I love you and thank you for the inspiration. Well that's great. Awesome. I hope you're still making videos and we'll go and have a look at you. Hope you guys watching along from home go and check out Mr. Mr. Viewtastic's episodes as well. Keep it up and I hope to see lots of videos on your channel. Got another one here from Mr. Viewtastic and they say, Hey there Sambo, I've been a subscriber on my main channel for about five months now and you have inspired me to set up a gaming channel and to make videos. At the moment I'm filming Smite but hopefully as my channel grows I'll branch out a bit. P.S. I love you and thank you for the inspiration. Well you are most welcome and you know what? I always love it when you let's play a startup. So keep going mate and I'd love to come along and have a look at your content. Hope you're having fun playing a smite there. Thank you. Alright got another one here from Query Knight and they say hey Sambo can you please give me a shout out for my birthday next Friday and can you please shout out my level 5 druid. Thank you very much. Well there you go. Happy birthday to you Query Knight. Hope you have an awesome day and thank you very much for your support. Got another shout out here from the land CJ1 Hey there Sambo can I please get a shout out for my level 85 mate Vil Death and my 85 DK Golash. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And yes, you can. And by the way, the LAN CJ1, which is your favorite? Do you like the Mage more or do you like your DK? My main, of course, is a Death Knight. Finally, here, got one from ZZZ. I think that's how you say your name. ZZZ, maybe. Anyhow, shout out for Kanan, the level 80 DK, and for Ferrasos, the 25 Rogue decked out in Heirloom. Oh, very cool. You know what? It's awesome that they've got Heirloom items in the this game. I'm a fan from North Dakota in the United States. Well, a big hello and shout out to you all the way from here in Australia and to your character there. So well done, mate, and thank you very much for your shout outs. Reminding you guys, of course, if you would like a shout out, all you need to do is ask. It is that simple. All right, so it looks to me like you've had enough dancing there, Yogurt. I think we should hand in. Let's have a chat to Melnia Sky Reaver and see what she's got to say here. Persevere. Here we go. Have you gotten your hands dirty for me? Yes, look at that. We've got five recovered artifacts. And there we go. Melnia furrows her brow and begins sifting through the artifacts you brought her. So, the spirits of the dead still haunt those old stones, hmm? Well, Yogurt, as it happens, I'm counting on their help. Let's see what the dead have to say. Oh, I wonder what she's doing there. Okay, she's saying that this ring will do nicely. 
Okay, the runes on this ring you found are still legible. It was given to Kalitha when she was granted admission to the academy. With the right spell or two, this personal trinket of hers is the gateway to her soul. Take the ring back to Lake Menar. Kalitha's spirit should now be visible to you on the shore of the lake. Touch her and the ring will allow you to see the world as she sees it, forever reliving her final hours. Oh, that sounds interesting. Probe her mind yogurt. Speak to the others and learn the secrets of Lake Menar. So there you go. You can see our very interesting quest objectives are to take Kalitha's ring to the shores of Lake Menar, touch the spirit of her to relive her memories and then speak to the other spirits until we've learned the secret of Lake Menar. Wow, that's very cool. All right, so yes, you can see that's obviously over by the lake. All right, got another hand in here, and it's Custer Club. Let's the word on let's the have street? a chat to him. No bunch of dead elves can put a stop to progress. Not on my watch. That's right. There's the surveyor's beacon. Beautiful work. Now that we know the area better, we can tear this lake a new one. Gunk in the trunk is the name of this quest. Those ancient ruins have survived 10,000 years of wind and weather, so I brought out my biggest and bestest bulldozer to flatten them. I call her Margin. But my dozer's been letting me down lately, Yogurt. The moment I drove her into those haunted woods, her engine seized up with a spine-chilling howl. Now my engineers tell me that something's clogging her valves. Go over there, inspect Majin's engine compartment, and bring me back a sample of whatever gunk has her stalled. So there you go, the objectives are to inspect Clubnik's dozer and collect a sample of the ecto splatter that's gumming up the engine. Ecto splatter? I think we might do that one first. I think it's this one here. Let's have a look. Hmm, now what can we do here? Oh, maybe it's not there. No, it definitely looks like we're in the right place. Oh, wait a minute. There it is over there. Clubnik's dozer. That's the one we wanted. Whoopsie. All right, so let's have a bit of a use on this one and see if we can collect what we need. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. What the heck? It's like Ghostbusters. There was some text there that said Yogurt pops open the engine hatch and mucks around within the machine's innards. Clubnik's dozer shudders as piles of green sludge ooze out of the exhaust pipes. Oh dear. Right, this thing's very hard to kill. Now we can't actually... Look at that, I have to melee it. None of our spells here, like our lightning bolt, will actually work on it, which is very interesting. There we go. There's the electro splatter sample. And of course, because we're a healer, we can just give ourselves a bit of a top up. There we go. All right, let's go back to Clubnik, see what he has to say. Yep, what do you want? Margin is one heck of a machine, isn't she? There we go. Electro splatter sample. Busted ball bearings. Look at this stuff. Ugh, smell this stuff. My poor, poor dozer. Yogurt. I consider myself a goop expert, and this here goop ain't natural. It's supernatural. This is ghost goop. We're gonna need more than a mechanic. What we need is a priest. Fortunately, I have a small budget set aside for the blessing of machinery. Take this flare gun and head over to Margin, my poor sweet busted bulldozer. Fire off the signal and one of our finest airborne priests, an airborne priest, should airdrop in to get a handle on the situation. Come back when my bulldozer is taken care of. And you can see that this quest is called Dozer Sism. Use the blessed flare gun near Clubnik's dozer to summon in help and then exercise the bulldozer. Dozer. You can see we've got some rewards there. One of them is definitely pretty cool. It's a leather chest there, and you can see it's one less stamina, but it actually gives us one more intellect, which is pretty cool. And the rest is cloth or mail, so that's not to good ground. to us. All right, let's go over here, and hopefully we've got ourselves a flare gun in our backpack. All right, here we are setting ourselves up. We're next to the dozer. There we go, and there we are. On the tracker there is a blessed flare gun. Use signals a goblin priest to airdrop in. All right, there it is, and hopefully we're, oh, look at that, and they've got the priest light there and everything. All right, got to say, that's pretty funny. Here we go, an airborne goblin priest. Praise the light, Sister Yoga. Let's take a look here, he says. How funny is that? Well, there's your problem. You've got what we call oh, a ghost in the machine. This calls for an old-fashioned bulldozer exorcism. Give me a hand, will you? If it gets uppity. All right. Oh, 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 what's going on? Oh, look, he's saying we've got a live one here. Oh, my Lord. 
I cast you out, unclean spirits, be gone! The power tools compel you! The power tools compel you! It's chasing me! I chase thee with holy fire! Who would have ever thought we'd be doing an exorcism on a bulldozer, for goodness sake? Alright, maybe we can actually attack it. Let's, let's give it a go. Oh, we can! Alright, I didn't know that. Uh, I could use a little help here. Yes, yeah, sorry about that, mate. I didn't actually realise that we could attack it. Whoopsie! Alright, apparently that's an invalid target as well, so we can only melee. Gosh, I think we need to heal up a little bit as well. We've got our totems down there. And of course, what I don't have is my lightning shield. Silly me. Well, nothing seems to work on them. All right, let's give ourselves a heal. And there we go. We just had to melee them down. Klubnik's dozer exercised. Excellent. All done. Where's the priest gone? Whoa. Maybe the priest... Maybe the priest bought the farm. Dear, dear. All right, that was the world's most evil bulldozer, if you ask me. All right, let's go over and hand in. He better appreciate that. Here we go. Cluster Clubnik. Well, spit it out. How is Marjean doing? Running like her sweet self again? What? What? Oh, no. Marjean. My sweet Marjean. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Poor guy. Look at that. He's all upset because of his dozer. Let's just take what's the most expensive here, and that's going to be the bulldozer vest, I think. There we go. All done. Be careful out there. Be careful indeed. And there we go. Some Bilgewater Cartel rep as well, which is nice, along with our XP and some silver. Let's have another chat to him. Need more science? Klubnik wipes away a tear, then juts his chin out with determination. Never again, Yogurt. No bulldozer deserves the fate of my margin. We're going to need some industrial ghost proofing. This is a job for our top scientists, and I know just the woman for the job. Look for assistant Greeley at the Southern Rocketway Terminus. She's the administrator for Ishara's world famous secret lab, and she owes me a favour. Locate Assistant Greeley at the Southern Rocketway Terminus. The Goblin Rocketway can be used to quickly move around as Shara. So let's have a look at that on the map. And where is it? It looks like it's old. Look at that, it's all the way down there. So basically this is like our, in fact I'm going to make that bigger for you, this is like our very first Rocketway introduction quest if you like. And I'm pretty sure it's designed to get you used to using the Rocketway that travels around as Shara. And it's really, really cool. So you can see there's a little dotted line there and basically there's a terminal down there over to the east and that's where we're going to have to go. Now you can run there if you want to, but of course we are going to take a Rocketway ride because it is so much fun. Seriously, it is awesome. Anyway, firstly though, before we do that, we are going to do this one, the Memories of the Dead. And you can see that's over by the lake there. And this is the one where we have to learn Kalitha's secrets. So actually, you know what? We should be ghost wolfing it because that's a lot faster. There we go. Let's see if we can avoid the shredder there. The shredder. Reminds me of a certain 80s cartoon. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Shredder. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves to the lake without being attacked. We're heading in the right direction, yes. And hopefully we've got this either... Well, I'm not sure if we've got the ring in our possession. There it is. Okay, so that allows us to interact with the spirit of Kalitha. So I guess just having that in our bags is enough. I'm hoping, anyway. All right, obviously got to dispatch a few of these restless ghosts along the way. Let's make sure we've got our lightning shield up. Here we go. Maybe we'll go back into ghost form, I think. There we go. All right, so we're looking for the restless spirit of Kali. Oh, that could be... Oh, there she is. Yep. Okay, the one with the green name over her head. There she goes. All right, so here's an old ghost of an old ancient. Let's see what she's got to say. Interesting. Okay, the shimmering vision does not acknowledge your presence. She is lost in her own world, reacting to events that played out thousands of years ago. Whoa, okay. This could be really cool. Let's merge with the spirit and see what happens. Whoa, look at this. We see the world through Kalitha's eyes. Wow, that is amazing. Look at this. This is way before it was ruins. So we've gone back in time. And look at that. We've got legions. Whoa. 
Okay, there are defilers here. Interesting, I wonder if we can help them out. This is a great example, by the way, of of the phasing technology in WoW because of course you can see the world completely changed right around us there absolutely amazing now I wonder what it is that we have to do hmm. right, so we're running around here the outside of the lake let's have a look at the map maybe and oh okay so it looks like it's over there somewhere let's run over in that direction so this is what it would be like playing as a night elf by the way but how cool is this? Like, all of the ruins are no longer ruins. We've gone back so far in time. Who we got over here? Defenders? Hmm. Oh, who's this? Archmage Selwyn from the Menar Academy. Let's have a chat with them. Hello. Kalitha, it is done. The Sarsen Stone is fully charged and is already diverting energy from the portal. Are you still the incredible swimmer I knew those many years ago? The stone must not be found by either the demons or our beloved queen. Swim to the bottom of the lake, Kalitha, and bury the stone deep under the center arch. Hopefully the demonic invaders will not discover it when they raise the surrounding temple. Go! Now, I think the queen that she's talking about is actually Queen Azshara, which of course is the queen that this whole zone is named after. Very cool. Yes, Archmage, I will hide the stone. Whoa, okay, that is amazing. And here we are, back in normal present day. Okay, so you can see we've got a quest up here. The Memories of the Dead, let's click that. You reel as the spirit's vision fades. Relieved to once again feel the earth beneath your feet and the comforting rhythm of your own quickened heart. Before she died, Kalitha was charged with burying something at the bottom of the lake, a powerful artifact that the Archmages of Menar spent their last moments creating. No doubt Melnia Skyreaver will want to see the artifact, presuming it still exists. You resolve to search the bottom of Lake Menar for the Sarsen Stone. So there you go, you can see we've got new objectives here, which is to retrieve the Sarsen Stone from the bottom of Lake Menar. And some, oh, look at that, we get some boots which are actually better than what we've got. One more armor and agility I think no they're exactly the same never mind that's okay all right let's hop down into the center of the lake because this is very cool you know what I love old school historical quests like this and it's one of the things I love about WoW is that sense that there's been a whole bunch of stuff that's gone on before we were here especially in ruins like this very very cool great job that Blizzard has done creating that feeling well for me anyway all right so yeah, we're looking for the arch buried under an arch well, that's an archway there. The Sarsen Stone. Let's have another look. The bottom of the lake is the only clue we've really got, I guess. It should be around here somewhere. Let's have a look. We'll go up and then down again. Maybe it's hidden under here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I can see something sparkling. Let's go use that. An ancient stone cask. All right, let's open that up. And look at that. Inside is the Sarsen Stone, just as we expected. And you can see the description here says it's perfectly smooth, but for hundreds of tiny runes, somehow unblemished despite its age. Oh, that's really old. All right, let's get up to the surface before we drown. Because yes, it's slightly embarrassing drowning, and I've done that many, many a time. Very embarrassing indeed. Here we go, nearly there. Let's get up for some fresh air, there we go. Oh, how I wish I was on my death knight, because of course we've got Path of Frost, which allows us to walk on water, which is great. Oh, I love this zone. Look at it. Look at the deep, rich reds of autumn. It's like it's, yeah, permanently in autumn, and that beautiful sunset there. Oh, I love this game so much. All right, let's have a look. We've got a couple of hand -ins. Of course, one of them is at the end of the rocket wave. The other one is straight ahead through this beautiful sight. Honestly, how can people say that WoW looks like rubbish? That is incredible, if you ask me. I think it's an absolutely beautiful game. All right, we'll keep on running. We'll see if we can ignore these guys. And there we go, heading in the right direction. Hopefully these ghosts will drop. Oh, look, it's a Talendra Scout as well. All right, so he was having a crack at us, was he? And hopefully the Shredder doesn't attack us as well. There we go. All good. Yeah, I love this zone. Look at it. It is definitely autumn. And there's the rocket way, by the way. And that's what we'll be driving along very, very shortly. Probably be a great way to finish off our episode, maybe. All right, here we go. Here is Melania Skyreaver. Let's have a chat to her and see what she's got to say. The 
eternal sun guides us. The eternal sun guides us. That it does. There we go. Mystery of the Sarsen Stone. Did you discover anything at the lake? You're soaking wet. Yes, well, we've been swimming down the bottom just for you. A Sarsen Stone? That's the stuff of legends. Let me see that. Yogurt. Sarsen Stones are used to redirect the ley lines of magical energy. You realise what this means? The mages of Menar weren't staying behind out of misguided loyalty. They sacrificed their lives in order to create this artefact in an attempt to draw energy away from the portal through which the demons were flooding Azeroth. And of course, that was the burning legions that we saw coming through in that flashback, i.e. the burning crusade. They were buying time for the rest of the world to fight back. History never recorded their deeds. What a discovery. And there we go. The same boots, but that's okay. We will take them. Excellent. Did you hear that, Klobnik? Those that died defending Lake Menar are heroes. Their selfless actions may have even saved this entire world. A memorial should be erected. And Klobnik's saying, sure, I hear you. How's about a memorial fuel depot? It'd be very tasteful. And she's saying, Klobnik, I hope you die in a fire. Yeah, I tend to agree with her there. What do you reckon about that, Yogurt? <laughs> Yeah, I think so too. All right, let's go up the top here. We've got a couple of things that we can do. Firstly, we've run out of quests around here, so it looks like we've done all of our early as Shara Zone quests. And again, look at that view. It is just amazing. Oh, God, I could just stand here and look at it all day. All right, here comes the platform. The other thing, though, that we've got to do is repair up and perhaps sell some of our great items. But you can see we're all done for this part. We're now going to head over to the southeast, and that means using this road rocket way. Trust me, it is a whole bunch of fun. All right, first things first though, let's see if we can repair up. Here we go. Have I got a deal for you. And using my good old cellomatic there to sell off all of our white items. And let's see, soulbound stuff of course won't sell with cellomatic, so we've got to manually do those. And yet we can definitely get rid of that. That is soulbound and it is worse than what we've got. Let's see what's this one here. Mm, that's a main hand axe. What are we wearing at the moment? Oh, so why are we not using the axe there? I don't know. We'll have to sort that out later. That can go on the auction house. We've got a couple of Molotov cocktails. We'll definitely keep those. And everything else here, I think, is... Oh, no, there we go. They're soul bound. They can go. Pretty much everything else we've got up the top here is bound for the auction house. Once we get back to Orgrimmar, which, of course, is just to the bike. south of us there. No problem at all. All right, here we go. A Bilgewater Rocket Jockey. So unless I'm mistaken, these are the guys that we need to speak to in order to call a rocket carrier. Boy, I can't wait. By the way, where we're going is, yes, another outpost. And there are outposts all throughout this zone of Azshara, and it is completely taken over by the goblins. You might remember, of course, if you were playing before, Cataclysm. It was just big sort of open expansive area and there was a few, I think there was a horde camp here. There were a few humans and a lot of Naga. Now of course it is all goblins pretty much. And once again, look at that. The shape of a horde symbol is the entire zone if you hadn't noticed before. Alright, enough yakking. Let's have a chat to this guy here. Money, and look, this is how simple it is. You can see he's saying, where would you like to go? Do you want to go to the Southern Rocketway Terminus, the Gallywix Rocketway Rocketway Exchange, the Northern Rocketway Exchange, or the Northern Rocketway Terminus. And of course, where we're going is the Southern Rocketway Terminus. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, and this one, there are five all around the zone. And in fact, if you've got keen eyes where I'm wriggling my mouse right now, you can see the other side of the zone over there, and that's where the rocket is. In fact, I can see the railing of it right there. But yeah, it is much, much, much better than running around a zone. I love it. All right, we need to go to the south. Let's click that. And here we go, Red Hound Projectile Transit. Red Hound, get it, Red Hound, yeah. And here we go, we are rocketing along the rocketway itself, the Orgrimmar rocketway. This is all automated for you, you don't have to steer. This is us on a, well, we're basically strapped to a rocket. And there we go, a bit of a speed boost there, woo -hoo -hoo! This is a good fun. And you can see it's a much, much, much faster way of getting around the zone than it is on foot. This is awesome and I love it. And look at that, there's a place called the Secret Lab. Oh, I remember questing there. We're going to be questing there very, very shortly. Whoa! That was a bit of a blow up there. Yikes! All sorts of troubles with the Rocketway and we finally just made it in time. Welcome to the Southern Rocketway Terminus, home of the world-famous Secret Lab. 
talk to me. All right, there we go. Yes, it is indeed. And in fact, I had a ton of fun questing around here right when Cataclysm was released. Look at that. We've got the good old Cliff Crasher. And in fact, this may look a little bit familiar to you guys who used to explore around here back in the old days. This is getting close to where there used to be the Blue Dragon, the world boss. So if that rings any bells, that's where we kind of are. Good view from up here, by the way. And you can see we're going to have lots and lots of quests around here. This is a bit of an outpost. There are all sorts of crazy goblin shenanigans to be had. I honestly had a ball around here. And of course, over there is, there it is. That is the secret lab. And we're definitely going to be spending some time there, trust me. All right, do you reckon I can risk jumping down? I don't know. Will that be a way to finish our episode? Maybe jumping to my death? Hmm. No, I don't think we're going to risk it. We'll wait until the platform comes up. There it is. It's on its way. But yes, there is lots of cool stuff down there. And look at that. There's even a gyrocopter as well. We're definitely going to have lots and lots of fun. Can't wait. Seriously, this has got to be one of the best redesigns in the game so far. Again, this zone pretty much had nothing in it. But now it is just super fun and super well designed for getting around the place. Hello there. What do you need? What do you need? There you go. When I trained as a guard in Orgrimmar, Thrall urged us to be patient and cautious when dealing with enemies, but Naga threatened to overrun this peninsula, and Thrall is no longer my war chief. The time has come to shed some blood, Shaman. For the Horde! That's right, we are Horde. All right, so you can see, here we go, got quite an outpost. We've got all sorts of buildings and quests over there. We've also got some quests here, and look who it is. It is our good friend, Assistant Greeley. And of course, she was with us right through the very beginning of the game. You might remember back as a castaway on the island town of Kazan. Remember that? That's right, this is where she has ended up. So it's a very, very, very cool. And I do believe that's a mailbox, yep, and this may even be an inn. I'm not sure, is it? No, we don't get the rested state, so no inn for us. But as you can see, folks, there is plenty to do, plenty to see, and trust me, the quests here are awesome. And look at that, if you look way out off in the distance there, can you see that silhouette? Hmm, looks like a big gun, doesn't it? Yes, well, there's a reason it looks like a big gun, because it is a big gun. And in fact, that sits right there in the middle in that diamond-shaped area. And you will find out what that is much later on. But hey, I couldn't resist this. I saw the glow, and I had to come here and just grab this ore. And there we go, got ourselves some copper ore. And again, for those of you who have been here before, this may ring some bells. We have a look out over the cliff edge here. There we go, that is the bay down there. That is South Ridge Breach, but over there is the main bay. And you probably can see those structures if you squint your eyes there, they haven't changed either. So hopefully you know where we are, but yes, look at that. Out there in the middle, yeah, that's just changed a tad, wouldn't you say? <laughs> All right, well that's it, we've definitely run out of time now. Certainly hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We've got lots to do in the next Shaman Field Goblin episode here with Yoga. So I certainly hope you'll join me then. In the meantime, on behalf of myself, Sambo, Yogurt, our level 17 Goblin Shaman. It's us saying take care. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye-bye.